So today at Bismarck, at this biggest, largest event of the world, media, technology and entertainment, we are meeting Richard Jontal from Netgear AV. Hi Richard, he is Global VP of Netgear. So please explain a little bit about yourself, your role at Netgear. Yep, thank you very much. I've been uh, with Netgear for almost 17 years. I'm in charge of business development. What I do is contact manufacturers in the audio video space, integrators, distributors, and we try to improve what we do for them in terms of the product and our go-to-market strategy. And we build partnerships with the people that are here at the International Broadcast Convention with only one goal that we have is make video and audio networking easy. So that is the innovation that we bring here and it's really about cementing uh, partnerships, uh, deeper personal relationships with all the people that are involved in the uh, transition to video over IP. That's really the topic that we handle here. And what is this uh, product? Seems very technical and very advanced. Yeah, but what you see here is a stack of Ethernet switches and a professional router. And it is now the foundation, the plumbing of any video network because video moves from typical video infrastructure like SDI to an IT infrastructure, networking. So all that you see here are switches that are capable of doing IT work, TCP IP, you know, what you call the local area network. But now the world is converging. The IT planet and the audio video planet are coming together in order to drive innovation in this space. And the innovation is video gets um, higher resolution, higher frame rates, more software manipulated. And in order to do that, you need to move the video to something dynamic like an IP network. So the video becomes packets, just like data, and it's being switched over an Ethernet switch network where you can dynamically mix all the sources and the, the targets that you have, maybe do picture in picture or create a multi-view. And the trend is that that happens in software these days. And then as you walk around here at IBC, you see many of the booths here at IBC are actually not showing hardware products anymore. They're in software or clouds. Now we're part of that movement. We help companies switch all those signals and we also help the end users and the integrators to build the networks that need to do that. And that's what we call AV over IP. We're the most recommended brand in this, this world. Uh, we work uh, with around 225 manufacturers, maybe a little bit more since yesterday. We call it 230 manufacturers in the AV space. Out of those, around 70 are here and uh, we want to help them make it easier to deploy their audio video over IP products. So yes, we are the plumber in all of this. And just like when you are an architect of a beautiful home and you pick the bathroom, the jacuzzi, the sauna, the shower, all of that, you can make it as beautiful as, as you want, but it will only work when the plumbing is done right. And that's what we do. So we help when you as an architect are designing your audio video network to put in the right components, to make the right design choices, to make sure it's fast enough to handle all these streams. And that's really what audio video now has become. It's data on a network. So we come from a 27 year old data background. We're relatively new to the audio video space, but our expertise is um, highly appreciated by people that have video as an expertise. They don't want to bother with the network. They just want it to work. And that's what we guarantee. If you use our switches in an AV over IP deployment, we will guarantee that it works. We will not leave until it's all up and running. And it doesn't matter what kind of audio video protocol you use. There are many. Uh, we work with all of them and we secure the working and the reliability by testing and certifying with all the manufacturers here. So. You could say it's a collaborative effort with the industry. Uh, definitely exciting to see how fast this is now moving into a more software-defined, IT-centric business. So uh, when you talk about the manufacturers, can you give us an idea about percentage? Are they based out of China or are they based of other uh, countries as well? Yeah, you could say that much of the cloud and software technology comes from the United States. Okay. 
the uh, silicon that's built in the switches, but also in all these audio video equipment that you see, often are American chip manufacturers, but then they're produced in Japan or in China or in Southeast Asia. And what we see is now that because cloud and software are available to everyone, that this is moving away from Silicon Valley, more to other states. Uh, well, we all know that, uh, particularly after uh, the G20, that uh, countries like India are making a formidable jump in that. Well, because let, let's be honest, most of the software in the world already comes from India. The innovation comes from India. The vast amount of headcount in the engineering community comes from India. So you can see a bit of a move there. That's one reason. The second reason is that broadcast is intended to send content to a whole bunch of people, right? Well, everyone here serves an audience. That's our goal, right? You, you produce audio and video to show it to someone. Well, since, you know, almost a quarter of the people on earth are from an Indian uh, heritage, you could say that's an important market. So we can see also that all this broadcast technology shifts to the target markets. They say if you draw a circle around somewhere in Nepal or Tibet of a few thousand kilometers, you will find that half the global population lives in that circle. Right. And that is the market we serve. Now, mm -hmm. do these people have millions of dollars to pay for the most expensive broadcast equipment ever built? No. This has to be easier. This has to be more affordable. It needs to be quick in the way you set it up. It needs to scale. And what we see is that in the broadcast space, people are adopting a network concept. That's something we know from the IT world already, which is called a highly distributed network. Now, for example, in the movie industry, Bollywood and in, in, in Mumbai, you would have these large studios that produce all of this. But now with cloud technology, you don't have to do this in these studios. You can go somewhere else where you have more people, maybe a nicer landscape, local actors, local technicians. You can film things on site and send it through the cloud to the major studio, put it all together. You can do this even not in a real landscape, but in front of something virtual, you know, a landscape that's created by a computer on the fly. And that's called virtual production. That's another trend. You can also see that broadcast is merging with what companies doing when they communicate with their customers or their employees. The concept is then broadcast for the enterprise, enterprise studios. So we see all these trends are driven by the fact that you can now do that over a network. Right? Distance is not a problem anymore. Number of signals is not a problem anymore. I mean, the cloud has an unlimited capacity. All that we do is connect all these endpoints so you can do that, you know, and use your creativity to drive those kind of applications. So that's an exciting uh, place to be in right now. Thank you, Richard, for giving those details. Uh, we are happy. We wish you best of luck. And I must tell you that we use some of the net gears at our homes also yep. and office also. So best wishes for this exhibition and for your product. Thank you. Thank you.